How are you? Welcome to another episode of Bilingual Storytime from the Ventura County Library. <gasps> Where's Miss Myra today? She's not in the usual spot. No, nope. we are again at the Avenue um, branch, the Ventura County Library branch of the Avenue Library. And we are so happy to be here. Remember, I told you I had a surprise for you, but I'm not gonna tell you quite yet. Remember, what do we have to do first? Right, we have to say hi to each other. So you can show me your fingers or you can clap your hands, however you like. And remember, why is it bilingual story time? Because we will do our first half in English and then the video in Spanish will follow right after this one, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Good night, good night. How are you? How are you? Very well, I thank you. Very well, I thank you. How about you? How about you? How are you? How are you feeling today? Well, however it is you're feeling, I am sending you a big, big hug, and I hope that makes you feel a lot better. All right, friends, so here it is for our surprise today. We have a guest reader. Uh, maybe a while ago, this is her second time that she's our guest reader, but we are so happy because she is bilingual and she's our reader today for our bilingual story time. So with all that, please help me welcome the mayor of the city of Ventura or San Buenaventura, if I say it correctly, uh, Sofia Rubalcaba. I am going to put on my mask so we can, um, it's so important when we are in spaces with others, that we don't live with to wear your mask and what else that's right to keep our social distancing so as you can see i'm sitting and i'm going to take away my little bench so that uh, our friend sophia comes in with her own little bench okay all right well help me walk on sophia and i'm going to take off my mask Hello friends, so nice to be here with you once again. So today I will be reading a book called Be Bold, Be Brave. But first, before I do that, I want to share with you my shirt. My shirt says, Orgullosamente Bilingüe. On the back it says, Proudly Bilingual. So I hope that you are also very proud of being bilingual. So we're going to go ahead and start with our book called Be Bold, Be Brave. 11 Latinas Who Made U.S. History. All right. I'm so excited to read this book with you. Be Bold, Be Brave. 11 Latinas Who Made U.S. History. Written by Naive Reynoso. Illustrated by Joan Leal. And a special thank you to Con Todo Press for allowing us to read this book and sharing it with all of you. Let's go ahead and read the dedication. It says, for my mother, Hortensia Reynoso Rodriguez, and my daughter, Giselle Jacqueline Carrillo, who have taught me and encouraged me to be bold and be brave. So we will go ahead and begin. Rita Moreno, Oscar-winning actress. Rita Moreno's mom was a seamstress and her dad a farmer, but she always knew she wanted to be a performer. She's very talented, as a matter of fact, and can do many things like sing, dance, and act. She has won an Emmy, a Grammy, and a Tony Award. She's even won an Oscar. She's truly adored. You see Rita Moreno here in Hollywood. Lisa Fernandez, Olympic gold medalist. Lisa Fernandez enjoys many sports. She likes basketball, softball, and games of all sorts. Athletics is a passion she's had since age eight. She never gave up and soon became great. She practiced for years to accomplish her dream, winning gold medals with the Olympic softball team. Selena, 
Latina icon. Selena was born in a small city in Texas. She grew to be famous because her voice was infectious. She balanced two cultures, which is no easy feat, and sang in English and Spanish while dancing to the beat. From fashion to music to movies and more, she became a role model like no one before. Alan Ochoa, astronaut and inventor. Alan Ochoa was the first Latina to go into space. She traveled on the shuttle Discovery to that faraway place. In college, she studied to become an engineer, learning about physics, science, and the atmosphere. She's an inventor, a flutist, and even a pilot. And you can be too, if you really desire it. Pura Belpre, librarian and author. Librarian, author, and talented puppeteer. Pura loved telling stories to children far and near. Her passion was to inspire children to read, which is important and necessary if you ever want to lead. Pura wrote many books about folklore and tradition. Telling stories in English and Spanish was her principal mission. Sonia Sotomayor, U.S. Supreme Court Justice. Sonia Sotomayor was very good at school. She studied hard and got good grades and followed all the rules. She later went on to Princeton and became a lawyer, then a judge, always having bigger dreams. On that, she would not budge. Now she makes decisions ruling on federal law. She's a Supreme Court Justice the biggest job of all. Maria Hinojosa, award-winning journalist. Do you like to tell stories or perhaps write your own? How about saying them out loud on a microphone? Journalists write and tell stories about their community. Many of them spotlight bravery, justice, and unity. Like Maria Hinojosa, who chose that career, telling stories that inspire, inform us, and make things more clear. Antonia Novello, first female U.S. Surgeon General. Have you thought of a career as an engineer or author? Or perhaps you'd study medicine to become a great doctor. Like Antonia Novello, who became a pediatrician to help kids like her born with a painful condition. She also served as Surgeon General, an important position appointed by the president. It's our country's top physician. Judy Baca, artist, muralist, and scholar. Judy Baca is a painter, an artist with a vast career. She's also a scholar, a muralist, and community pioneer. She paints on city walls, depicting people of all races, using color and heart to tell stories in public spaces. Her murals tell the history of social transformation, Indeed, art is needed for important conversations. Hilda Solis, politician. Hilda Solis was the first in her family to graduate from college. She's helped her community with all of her knowledge. She's worked in the California Senate, the White House and Congress, making laws that are fair and it helped the country make progress. The first Latina to serve in the U.S. cabinet, she was Secretary of Labor. She made sure the laws were in the workers' favor.
Dolores Huerta, activist. Dolores Huerta fought to try and make things fair, using her voice with strength, conviction, and flair. She's talked to lots of people on many stages and made sure that farm workers received better wages. She's an activist and mother who fights for equality, making sure everyone's life is of the utmost quality. You, although we've reached the end of this book, your story is next. Just go to the mirror and take a look. If there are things in the world you want to see different, you can change them for sure. Just don't be indifferent. Be brave, be bold, and be courageous because your destiny is also greatness. Like all of these women who weren't afraid, go out into the world and just remember, be brave. The end. The end. All right, Miss Mayor. So can you put on your mask and then we can say goodbye together if you go All to All right. One of the to one of the I'm going to go ahead and put on my mask and Miss Myra is going to come back. Yep, we can both be there. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, this was the last March story time, bilingual story time. And do you know what we were celebrating? One of the things we celebrate in March and really we should celebrate it all year is Women's History or Her, Her Story um, Month. And so that was an amazing book that... Um, Mayor Sofia Rualcaba uh, read to us and as you can see it's not part of a collection yet but um, we were just waiting to read it and we will be adding it so very soon you should be able to check it out with your library card or request it and they'll bring it to you for free to your library so thank you so much there were so many women you guys knew Dolores Huerta because if you were at story time last week we read about her and I had some favorites I grew up listening we grew up listening to Selena uh, we would um dance to her songs after school when we were doing a, a special dance at school um and uh, for me personally Cura Belpre was amazing because I want to be like her when I grow up <laughs> and um so many so many did you have someone one of your favorite um Latinas in there well honestly the 11 Latinas featured in this book were so inspirational to me one of them stands out of course Hilda Solis the politician because just like her you know, I'm trying to make a big difference in our city to make people's lives better. So I really liked her story. Yes, those are amazing. And, and as you can see, more Latinas uh, on the making, making um, history uh, in our community. So friends, thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to say goodbye. Remember, I say, and you repeat. And in this case, Mayor will repeat with you, okay? Are you ready? One, two, three. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. I have to go. I have to go. I was very happy, or we were very happy. <laughs> I was very happy. We were very happy. <laughs> to be with you. To be with you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Until next time, friends. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you, Mayor, for coming to our story time today. We thank really you, Ms. Myra. Time. Thank you for the invitation. And thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Thank you, friends.